To create an animated button, we need these four main parts. The rectangle, a frame, the first label together with the first icon, and the second label together with the second icon. I'll show you how to piece everything together, step by step. So first, I'm going to copy and paste the first frame. I'm going to copy and paste the first and second label and icon. Copy and paste, and I'll drag it to the right. Okay. I want to make sure that my second label, it aligns with the first. So I'm just going to drag it a little bit, and there's a guiding line. All right. So right now, they are they are aligned properly. And I'm going to copy and paste this rectangle as well. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move the rectangle inside the frame. Okay. So now the rectangle is inside the frame. I'm going to move the icon and labels inside the frame as well. Okay, now it's inside. I'm just going to make sure that the white uh, label is not visible and I'm going to make the black one visible. Okay, just uh, center align it. Okay. Next, look at your left panel, right? I want you to target the green rectangle click on it and drag it to the left just drag it to the left oops drag it to the left okay let me just click outside and drag it out of sight okay so now the rectangle is out of sight so we have our first save button completed Okay, great. So we are not done yet. So the next step is to copy and paste this save button. I've copy and pasted it. So it's exactly the same. So here's what I'm going to do for the second part of the button. All right. I'm going to move this first label out of the frame. Okay. So let me just move it out of the frame. Okay, so right now it's out of the frame and I'm going to move the first icon, the save icon, to the center of the frame. As for the rectangle, the green rectangle that is previously out of the frame, I'm going to bring it back to the frame just a little bit. Okay, so I'm targeting it and I'm pressing shift on my keyboard and I'm dragging it, dragging it back in just to show a little bit of it right okay great at this point of time perhaps it's best that we start to connect these two buttons together just to see that it actually works all right so click on the first button and i'm gonna oops let me just create an interactions um it's a click interactions and I will navigate to the second button and I'm going to click on smart animate. All right. Um, okay. So let me just, uh, you know, call it uh, step one. Okay. First button. Okay. First button. I click on play. Let's see what happened. All right, it looks a little bit small, so let me make it look a little bit bigger. I'm going to fill the screen. So when I click on this, you see that we have our very first animation, right? So the first label is being pushed to the right, while the other elements are being brought in into the frame. Next, we will start to build our third button, all right? So copy and paste the second button copy and paste it so now we have the third buttons 
Okay, we have the third button. Go to the third button. Now, I'm going to drag the green rectangle. I hold shift and I click on this rectangle that is currently outside the frame. And I'm going to drag it all the way to the right to cover the um the background uh, of the button right so right now we have something that looks like this for the third button okay we're going to do this step by step so don't worry about it okay let me click on a second button click on prototype and i'm gonna create an interactions between the second button and the third button Instead of on click, we're going to change it to after delay. Now let's set it to default first, which is 800 ms. And we're going to set it to smart animate. All right. So let's go back to our prototype and see it in action. Okay. Go to the first button and click on play. Okay. Let it load a little bit. Okay, as usual, we're going to fill the screen. Okay, let's click on it. All right. So with three buttons, it will look something like this when you piece it together. Okay, let's play it again. Click on save. All right, great. So let's go back and start working on the last piece. Right. So right now we have three buttons so the last piece we're going to use the same technique go to the third button which has the background field with the uh, green uh, a rectangle copy and paste it now we are on the fourth button what we're going to do is to move the first icon out of the frame and let's move it up okay let's move the first icon out of the frame now we click and drag it out okay so right now it's out of the frame and now we're gonna go and bring our second label and icon into the frame okay so look at your left uh, panel okay look for the uh, safe label and the safe icon so mine is over here okay i have it already i can see it on the screen i'm just gonna press shift and drag it up into the frame okay great okay so over here it may not be aligned properly but that's okay right i am just want to show you the key concept of how to create this uh, animate animated uh, button as you can see over here on the right hand side is a uh, uh, 12 a pixel away from the right and the one on the left is about 16 pixels away so um yeah let's not count beans over here and just uh, you know uh, uh, understand the main concepts but anyway Right, so right now we are bringing the second label and icon back into the frame. What we're going to do is go back to the third button and create an interactions between the third buttons and the fourth button. Again, instead of on click, we're going to change it to after delay. Set it as, uh, let's keep it as 800 ms. Navigate to, for the effects, we're going to keep it as smart animate. All right, so let's play and see how the final piece looks like go to the first button click on play all right press r to restart click on the button great it seems like we have successfully created our animated button with just four simple components play around with it and if you face any problems feel free to let me know down in the comments below and i'll be happy to help you